I don't dress at all. You can interrogate me, but because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was ask because that. because in thirty years I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. Hold on tight, everyone, as Cat Williams sends the entertainment industry into a frenzy one more time with his explosive revelations. This time, he is exposing the alleged misconduct of Diddy and his longtime buddy, Kevin Hart, claiming there might be more to their friendship than meets the eye. Since his appearance on the Club Shay Shay podcast, Cat has been on a spree of unveiling dark secrets in the entertainment industry, and he's not ready to hold back. He's accusing Diddy and Kevin of engaging in some sinister actions, including the mistreatment of Usher. Now that's a whole lot of bombshells, but it doesn't end there. It's a roller coaster of a ride, so buckle up as we dive into it. It's common knowledge that when Cat Williams decides to spill the tea, he doesn't hold back until the ground is full. So, when he announced an interview on Club Shay Shay, the public anticipation was high and true to who he is. He lived up to the expectations. Cat, one of the most reputable black actors in the entertainment industry, is someone who wasted no time in revealing the details of the shady dealings your favorite celebrities are involved in, and he's unapologetic for doing so. On the podcast, Cat went all in on Diddy and Kevin Hart while discussing the two, going so far as to label Kevin as an industry plant. While he didn't explicitly accuse Kevin of striking a deal with the devil, he dropped subtle hints, emphasizing that nothing in the industry comes without a cost. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already. If you've been following Kat, you'd be aware of his firm stance against the practice of pressuring black men into wearing dresses in the Hollywood industry, claiming that it's part of a dubious initiation linked to selling their souls. For years, Cat has been a strong advocate against this practice, which the industry paints as a step towards career advancement for black actors. At first, Kevin didn't see Cat's claim worthy of his response. However, seeing the reaction of the public to it, he decided to give his clap back. And boy, it's a huge one. Well, like you don't you don't entertain the circus, you watch it, right? And when But Cat didn't stop at Kevin. Moving on, he was asked about his history of rejecting roles and he disclosed turning down a hefty $50 million offer four times, which is due to refusing to compromise his principles. I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. Now here's where things get interesting. Cat spilled that some of these offers are from none other than Diddy himself. Yes, you heard it right. And he even claims to have receipts proving it. Uh, Cause P Diddy be wanting the body, and you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. Diddy is in for some serious explaining after Cat unleashed a barrage of strong words, squarely placing Diddy in the spotlight. According to Cat, Diddy exuded a vibe as if he believed he owned the entire planet with just a glance. Cat didn't mince words in calling out Diddy for his perceived arrogance and sense of entitlement. Before Cat put him in the spotlight, Diddy had already been in it, all thanks to his ex-girlfriend Cassie. Late 2023 wasn't an easy period for Diddy. He found himself slammed with a lawsuit by Cassie, and the details of this lawsuit were glaringly unsettling. From years of physical mistreatment to allegations of Diddy allegedly coercing her into intimate activities with male workers and filming the encounters while engaging in self-pleasure in the background. Cassie didn't hold any detail back, creating an intense narrative. Despite settling outside the court with a substantial $30 million, the aftermath was explosive. The accusations paint a disturbing image of Diddy's actions, raising questions about whether he held on to those recordings as potential blackmail against Cassie. Cassie and Diddy dated for 10 years, and it's grim considering that she had to endure such a situation for a decade. The rapper got her under his snare by offering her a music deal. 
And according to the words on the street, Diddy wanted to pull Cat into this kind of shackle. Some years back when he presented his comedy special titled, P. Diddy Presents the Bad Boys of Comedy. In 2005, Diddy aimed to dominate the comedy scene in Hollywood, orchestrating a massive special with a whopping 110 comedians. It sounds like a blockbuster, right? Well, it could have been if not for some serious side-eye action. Back then, Diddy was side-eyed by some questionable dealings with guys, most especially young artists. We'll get back to that. So, whispers circulated that the comedy special served as a smokescreen for Diddy's alleged shady activities. The suspicion was that Diddy was allegedly targeting struggling comedians, possibly more open to his advances. The word on the street was that the special was a front, a cover for Diddy to engage in not-so-great activities. Cat spilled the tea, hinting that Diddy was allegedly scouting fresh talent from the comedian pool, building his own squad, but not for laughs. If you're wondering why Kevin Hart got entangled in this chaos, Katz got stories for days. According to him, Kevin not only knew about Diddy's alleged escapades, but was also aware of Diddy's sketchy activities, even though he wasn't part of Diddy's comedy special. Diddy's parties are a pretty uncomfortable place to be. In an old video from one of these bashes, Diddy was lounging on a bed when Kevin and the camera crew walked in. Diddy seemed caught off guard, and the room's attention peaked. For some reason, Diddy kept telling Kevin to stay away and threw in a joke, making things even more bizarre. Sit on the bed at night, no homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, that yeah, we want to thank you for the whole thing, man, man. Kevin one of P. Diddy you parties. Didn't it, you did. No, 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 I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not giving the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just going to, if we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even... Like, I don't want it to come. Did something happen between Diddy and Kevin that night for them to behave that way? Well, Kat suggests there might have been some mischief between Diddy and Kevin before that time, which is why they're acting weirdly. Allegedly, Kat is entertaining the idea that Diddy might have presented an offer to Kevin, and unlike Kat, Kevin didn't decline it. Remember when Kat accused Kevin of being an industry plant who compromised his principles? Rumor has it that Kat possesses some serious spicy evidence. And that's why Kevin's reaction to it is moderate. The word on the street is that Cat has information on how Kevin might have been involved in Diddy's questionable dealings with Usher back in the 90s. Usher was 13 when he started living with Diddy at his New York residence. Due to this, rumors have been circulating that Diddy allegedly transmitted a disease to him. There's some talk in the air, and it might be linked to Usher's conversation with Howard Stern, where he hinted at witnessing some wild things during his time under Diddy's roof. In August 2016, Usher opened up to Stern about living with Diddy for a year after moving to New York City. The host immediately said, that's the crazy thing. That was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending you to something called Puffy Flavor Camp. It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. Kevin's involvement was traced to his reaction to a video circulating some years ago featuring Diddy, Usher, and him. In the video, Diddy casually remarked that he and Usher used to have morning battles over cereal, raising some eyebrows, and possibly suggesting they shared a bed overnight. In that uncomfortable moment, Kevin quickly changed the topic. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me. Now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm Yo. Like, what? Back in 2017, Usher faced legal troubles as he was accused of giving a disease without telling one of his partners, Laura Helm. Helm had initially filed a lawsuit at the cost of $10 million before she increased it to $20 million, citing emotional harm and punitive damages as a result of the situation. However, not long after, the case was dismissed, fueling speculation about hush money. Subsequently, two more women entered the picture. The first one, Quantasia Sharpton, a fan of Usher, accused the rapper of infecting her on her 19th birthday. Sharpton sued the star for $20 million, claiming he was with her on her 19th birthday without admitting he had something. 
She claims that Usher chose her from a concert crowd. The second one is a celebrity stylist whose name wasn't disclosed. It's claimed Usher paid the woman $1.1 million after infecting her. The unnamed woman is said to have been devastated and extremely depressed after testing positive for the disease. But Cat isn't the only one dropping bombs of words at Diddy. 50 Cent, who has long been known as a rival of Diddy, spilled some gossip a while back. According to him, Diddy offered to take him shopping, a move that 50 Cent found peculiar. He told me we got to kick it and shit. He was like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the shit just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the <laughs> away from him because I was like, this nigga, this nigga, wait, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> When Diddy got questioned about it, he flatly denied ever making such an offer. A classic Diddy move. He tried to keep it cool, saying he just wanted to help 50 Cent upgrade his wardrobe. There you have it, Cat Williams and 50 Cent exposing Diddy's supposed escapades with Kevin Hart. These two are on a mission, no breaks until they bring Diddy down. Now we can't help but wonder, what's Diddy's next move? Or rather, what unsettling truth about Diddy will we discover next? Hit up the subscribe button to stay in the loop for the hottest celebrity tea.